Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to change the rotation of a curve, mesh, or instance using geometry nodes. Here we are in geometry nodes editor as shown here. First, select the object, go to the geometry nodes workspace, and then go to add and search for transform node as shown here. Let's zoom in. Shift A, search for transform node. Like this, it's over here. Drag it in between these two vertices, as shown here. Connect the group input geometry output to the transform geometry input, then connect the transform geometry output to the group output node. Now, all we need to do is change the rotation value and the object will rotate. Like this. And you can see that the object will rotate. Also on the Y axis, rotation on the Z axis by increasing and decreasing those values over there. For instances, you will instead want to rotate instances node, add the rotate instances node like this. I've added rotate instances node as shown in our tutorial. Then connect the instance on points. This should connect another node, which is instance on points connected to this node rotate instances. Then rotate instances. Then how can we use instances on different vertices on cube of the cube over there? Just go over here. We have added the cube. Move and let's hold and drag it like this in order to add this object info node for our cube and use it as instance. In this case, let's take this sphere over there, hold the and the drag, then release like this. Let's add an object info node for the cube and to make sure that use the sphere over there, connect these two sockets and you can play around with the scanning values like this. So let's make them like this Then let's hide this sphere over there. I do have some instances. on different vertices of the cube you can rotate let's uh, move closer you can see the rotation of those vertices those uv spheres on z and y and x axis the pivot point you can change also the pivot point as shown here play around with some values like this You can also change the rotation. Change the rotation also. In the instance on points like this, you can scale. You can scale them. Let's see now how to create instances and align them to normals. Before we can create any instances, we will first need to capture the normal of our object. Go to add, search, add, shift A, search for, capture attribute, like this. Let's add that node and place it into the graph. Repeat this for a normal node. Shift A, I'm gonna be adding normal node. Go over here, normal, connect it to the value, to this socket. Let's connect the geometry output. Connect the geometry output from the group input as shown here. Now to the capture attribute geometry input as shown in our tutorial. Change float to vector like this, change it to vector. Then connect the normal node output to the capture attribute value input. Just like this. 
Now we can distribute some points onto the object we want to add the instances to. Go to add or search for shift A. Let's search for distribute points on faces. Distribute points on faces like this and place it in the graph. Next, connect the capture attribute geometry output over here to mesh input, like this to mesh input, and distribute points on faces node, just like this. Next, we will need to generate some instances on those points. Go to search for search for the instance on points instance on points just like this output then connected distribute let's place this node in the graph like this Connect the distribute points, distribute points on faces, points output over here to the instance on points input. We will also need to get the object that we want to instance. To do this, create an object info node. Shift A. Then search for the info node object info node like this and let's take it over here and set the object to the object we want to use let's add an object info node shift a go over here object info node like this grab it over here there, so let's connect the geometry to let's connect the geometry to instance like this. Then connect connect points to points of the distribute points on faces and instance on points. There, then I'm gonna be adding join geometry. Shift A. Let's join geometry like this. Take it over there. Connect the socket to the socket to the connect the output the output of the group input connected to geometry join geometry and the output of the instance on points connected over there. Then let's connect the output of the join geometry node to the group input group output node. And here you can you can add a sphere that I'm gonna be that I'm gonna be using this tutorial. I have it I have added that sphere to the scene. Just let's play around with some vectors and values like scaling. Let's scale down those those spheres like this. And you can see that those spheres are distributed on those surfaces of the cube, as shown in our tutorial. Let's see now how to align to normal, to align the instances to normals. First add an align, an align Euler to vector node, connect the capture attribute, attribute output to the align Euler to vector. So let's search for Euler to vector, search for. Line Euler to vector like this. Put it over there. Let's connect the attribute of the capture attribute node to the vector of the align Euler to vector as shown in our tutorial. And you should connect the rotation socket to the rotation of the instance on points node as shown in our tutorial like this. Now our instances should be aligned to the surface of our object as shown here in our tutorial. And that's it. I hope you learned something new in Geometry Notes. 
Thanks for watching.